Hey, hey, I'm Allison Denise here with a quick tutorial on Canva Pro's content planner and how you can schedule your social media posts right from Canva. So the first thing we do is click on content planner and go to the date that we want to post on and decide if we want to create a new design or choose a design we've already created. In this case, I'm creating a new design and I'm selecting my size so Instagram is not listed here so I'm going with social media because it is the Instagram size which is 1080 by 1080 when the window opens up I'm just scrolling through the social media templates here to keep things simple and finding one that jumps out at me okay here's a good one I'm going to edit this and make it my own the key to editing templates is to try not to change too much so I like to change colors and fonts maybe sizes of things and maybe add an element or two of my own to make the graphic my own so it doesn't look exactly like the template and exactly like everybody else who might use this template in which case here i've changed the colors to my brand colors pink and black and i'm changing the text to say what i wanted to say which is every place changing it from black and white so that it clearly shows up on the background it's on and then enlarging it so that it's easily read by anyone scrolling through social media. And so the next thing I'm going to do is just add my own little element by going to the elements side over here and selecting a sh uh, just a regular square. I'm going to make it black and just kind of scoot it off to the edge there. This adds some character and some weight to this side of the graphic and just makes it my own therefore also adding more of my brand color to the graphic um, and then I'm going to go and switch out the photo um, just go to a photo that I've already uploaded and drop it into the frame this is a frame if you just drop any picture in there it will update immediately now I like this, so I'm ready to schedule my post. So I'm gonna click on schedule in the top right corner. I'm gonna type in my caption, whatever I want my post to say. And I'm going to update the date and time that I want this post to go out on my social media. And when I'm done with that, I will click done. And then I will just look over everything, make sure it's right. And then I'll go to schedule two and this is where i will sketch um, choose which social media platform i will be posting this this post to so when i click on schedule two i'm going to post this first on my facebook business page so i click on facebook page and i click connect facebook of course once you've connected facebook you won't have to do this every time but this is the first time so here I'm scrolling through all of the pages that are associated with my Facebook account and I'm going to select the one that I want and then click OK and done. I didn't change any of these settings of what Canva is allowed to do. You can decide if you want to do that or not. And when I'm done looking over these rules, I will just select done. And then Canva is linking to Facebook and it says that we are now linked and I will say OK, great. Perfect. So now we're back in Canva and now my page is listed there as a social media platform that I can post to. Again, I double checked all of my information and once I know that I'm good, I click schedule post. Canva is working its magic, preparing the design, and now it's giving me the option to make a copy or go back to the content planner. In this case, I'm going back to the content planner because I want to schedule another post, this time to my Facebook group. So I click on this uh, plus sign to choose a design that I've already created because I'm using the same design. And this time I'm going to click on the design that I made. And I get to put in the information right here in this box. So uh, first thing I do is look at my date, my destination, and I'll go ahead and put my caption in, which I copied from the last post that I did. I just copied it and pasted it in here because I'm pretty much saying almost the exact same thing. Um, so once I'm done editing my text, 
I then get ready to connect my next destination by clicking choose a destination and schedule two. And this time I'm going to Facebook group. Connect Facebook. All right, I'm going to allow Canva and Facebook to connect by pressing OK. Canva is working its magic. And here I see all of the Facebook groups that I am associated with, whether I own them or whether I'm just a part of them. So I'm going to search for mine. When I find it, I click on it. And it tells me to go to the group's advanced settings and add Canva, the Canva app, and give it permission. So to do that, click on the button, that little um, turquoise button there that says Add App to Facebook. And when you click on that, it's going to open Facebook and take you to the advanced settings of your Facebook group. Takes you right to the page. So to find this, you scroll all the way to the bottom. At least that's where it is at the time of this recording. You see advanced settings apps. Click on the little pencil to edit it. Click add apps. And then there is a there's the option to scroll here and look for the app that you want to add, uh, give permission to, uh, in which case I'm going to just type search. I'm going to search for Canva. When I find it, I click on it and then I add it to my list of apps. Now I'm just checking here to see if Facebook has added it by clicking on the little pencil one more time. And it's not listed there, but I'm going to go on over to Canva and see if it's actually been done. So look, my group is listed here. So it's connected. And so I'm checking and changing my dates and time again so that it posts when I want it to post. Click done. Double checking. OK, it's going to the group. This is my copy. I'm happy with that. Once I'm done, I click schedule post and it is posting or scheduling itself to be posted at the time which I chose, which is tomorrow morning. So when it's done, now I'll go back to the content planner and I see that both of my posts are there. I click on one just to see if I can edit it and I can. I can change the time, the, the, the destination and the text and save and, and reschedule it. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm actually gonna go and um, click on another plus sign on another date just to see if I'm able to use this design uh, in another way. So I'm clicking choose a design. Actually, I'm going to go over to all of my designs. And I tried to click on the design that I just created, which was a scheduled post. And it's telling me that if I edit this design, it's going to pause the scheduled post, which is not what I want to do. So I'm going to choose instead to make a copy. And now I have this design that I can actually make changes to without affecting my posts that have already been scheduled. So I just update the name so that I can differentiate between which ones are my scheduled posts and which one is my regular image and I download it as a PNG file. Now I can use this anywhere I want to, social media, um, my website, in a text, in an email, I can still download it. And um, just showing you here, there's another place where you can decide, well, I wanna schedule this design and you can go ahead and schedule it by clicking on this button here. All right. So with that being said, um, animations can also be uploaded if you choose to use animations in your in your image. And that is all. I hope this has been helpful. If you have questions, brandedbeautifully.com. Thanks. Ciao for now.